So, in summary, first off, Bernoulli's equation, fundamental, okay? You know, need to know how to manipulate it and what assumptions you can make will help you determine how to manipulate it. Like I said, you can use what we've covered in the lecture. There will be a handout on Blackboard later on, either today or tomorrow, which will give you some hints and tips. Okay, there's Bernoulli's equation in its full form, okay? You'll rarely need to use it in its full form, okay? You will be able to make assumptions about it. Pressure loss, delta P equals FL upon D plus the effective loss factor multiplied by the dynamic pressure, okay? Again, the F is determined from the Moody chart, okay, which you need the Reynolds number and the relative roughness for, and you, again, you need to know how to manipulate it. Wait there, there's still a few more slides to go. Fluid machines, you get a pump characteristic and a pipe characteristic, you match them up to determine the operating point and hence the flow rate. Fluid momentum allows you to work out the forces on the fluid and on an object by the fluid, okay? F equals the mass flow rate times by C2 minus C1, which is the change in velocity. And if there's a change in direction, you've got to use the components, okay? So Cx, X terms and Cy terms. And lastly, there's a few things you shouldn't forget from last semester. Volumetric flow rate, V dot equals AC, okay? Again, fundamental. Mass flow rate is that volumetric flow rate times by the density, so it's rho times A times C, okay? These are very important to remember. And lastly, to work out the area, we often stick pi d squared upon 4 into the equation instead of A, okay? And so the area is pi d squared upon 4. That's pi r squared is the same thing. So often you'll be given a diameter and not a radius. Right. So that's it for fluids. Next week is Mike giving you dynamics, okay? And this week we'll work through past papers in the, uh, in the tutorial sessions.